Okay, so there, I think you can see my screen, right? I can, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do the pronunciation of these words you sent me. So let's get started. Okay. Lawyer. Abogado. The next one. Agente. Next one. Uh, Aguinaldo. 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 Yeah. Okay. Let me see where. Like, is this Mexican? Yeah. It's a uh, este Lake Chapala in Mexico. Es una yeah. website de este inmobiliario bienes raíces. Okay, yeah, it's funny because Aguinaldo is a very, lat I mean, I, I didn't know it was Latin American because I think it's very Colombian. And oh, yeah, really? it's Christmas fun is due December 20th. Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah, a, it's, he calls it a Christmas bonus. Yeah, is that, yeah, that's, is that something? that's is that a thing down there. Yeah, I mean, like, like, <laughs> it's like when we say aguinaldo, it's not all. It's not only when when we're in a work environment, but maybe like some people like, oh, I'm going to ask my cousin, my rich cousin, an aguinaldo, or I'm going to ah, ask an aguinaldo mm -hmm. to my, to my, I don't know, to my father or something like that. So it sounds like, like, yeah, oh, okay. I, I know, like, 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 it's some sort of an entitlement to receive something just because of just because of nothing okay <laughs> but it's customary yeah mm, not really not, not really or, but no i mean it's like a, it's like a polite way to ask for money i see okay that's it like, aguinaldo hey, ah, yeah okay. like, like like hey and, and will you give me aguinaldo and and people will be like like it's it's like polite but yeah, they yeah. know that they're just asking for money because they haven't earned it whatsoever ah, they just okay. money, right. so okay so the next one bueno um <clears throat> okay hard to read aljibe aljibe i've never seen that word in spanish uh, groundwater in, ground in a storage tank so i guess in mexico they they have tanks for water on top of the roof yeah it's very dry so mm -hmm. aljibe i guess is a tank Mm, okay, we would just call it mm, tanque agua. Uh huh. There's would another it? word they use in Baja for it. I can't remember. Maybe I'll think of it in a minute. Thing they is that here in Colombia, we don't, we, we, I mean, we do have them, but they're like, like more like on the ground. Like they aren't that up in the air, but they aren't right. ground either. They're on the ground. Okay. That's what we got here. So, okay. okay. Uh, uh, appendice. Appendice. Uh -huh. That's an addendum, like uh, a cambio para la, el contracto. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Appendice, it, it's also something else here. Uh, I'm, I, and I don't know how, how it's called, like appendice. Uh, appendix. Appendix. Ah, yeah. Is the translation for appendix as well? Hmm. Okay. So let's go on. Appendix. C. Okay. Appendix. Uh, then avulu, av, avaluo, avaluo. Uh, avaluo. Yes. Avaluo. Uh, assessment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Balcon. Mm -hmm. El balcón, uh, beneficiario, beneficiario. Yeah. It sounds Italian. Beneficiario. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Be bienes raíces, real estate. Yeah. Bodega, storage unit. Is that right? Bodega, or is mm. bodega something else? I I knew it more like a warehouse. Warehouse. Okay, yeah, storage. Yeah. Unit. Okay. Uh, Boveda. Arched brick ceiling. That sounds very specific. Yeah. <laughs> then maybe that's Mexico type thing. But, no, but I mean, like a Boveda is a very safe room where you keep valuable stuff. So 
Ah, I see. Okay. So is Can... is the translation correct? Arched brick ceiling. No idea. Arch art. That sounds like an architectural feature. You know. No, like the boveda is like the one that you find into a bank, like where ah. it's not like a like like a like a thing that 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 spins and that is that, called like we a call cup. that we call it the vault. The vault. The vault. Yeah, that's that's an what area of where you you put the money and it's very safe yeah. and you close the door. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. A vault. Oh, that's good to know. Um, I printed it out. Awesome. Uh, so I could read it. Um, casa, okay, of course. Casita. But wait, uh, but we, but after Boveda, we had can we we've got cantera. Cantera. Oh, unpolished yeah. quarry tile. Cantera. It's like tile. Or I've never seen that word in Spanish. Like oh, cantera. Really? I would not know what they mean. Like okay. I, I would I would I. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Some of these might be specific to this area or something. Yeah. Um, casa, casita. Mm, then chiminea, chiminea, chimney. Chimenea. Chiminea. Chimenea. Chimenea. Yes. Okay. Go on. Uh, cochera. But carport that's like the garage which is like kind of like steps away from the house right a carport we is open has no walls on it just has a roof um mm. but a garage is more completely closed in oh, okay. so i don't know if there's a difference in spanish is cochera garage also i would not say cochera ever what would you say I would just say garage or just oh. like, like like park the car in the yard or something like that. Like if it's an open space, it would be like a just garage. Park. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's probably uh, down further. Yeah. Uh, so, CFE Comisión Federal de Electricidad. Comisión Federal de Electricidad. So that's the utility company. Colonos. Wait, Colonos. but not the utility, but the electrical utility company. Electrical utility, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Electricidad. We, we don't call them like that. We just call them like the utility company, what you said, because it's the same one, like for electricity and... And uh, gas. Uh, yeah, and gas, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you say gas? Gas. Gas, gas, yeah. okay. Uh, Colonos. <laughs> Homeowner association. Colonos. I don't know. This is very in the United States. We have a lot of homeowner associations. So all the houses in one community have to pay a fee to the association so that they can keep up the exterior, the roof. Maybe there's a pool. I don't know. They do all the maintenance, and so you pay you pay a fee to belong to it. So it's so, very popular in the United States. No, you know what? That that rings a bell because I mean, I just, I just didn't know how it was called in English, but this is a, a word that I was looking for. But Colonos. We don't but call it is, like that in Spanish. At least here in Colombia, we don't call it like that. My question is to to be sure, like these homeowner association fees. Mm. Uh, so this can be like in a neighborhood where in which there are many houses, but it can right. also be like in buildings, right? Yeah, like, sure. Mm -hmm. Buildings, commercial buildings, apartments, uh, okay. condos, it, townhomes. Yeah, like complexes, right? Yeah, duplexes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything yeah. where you have more than one. Actually, even a single family house, if there's many of them in one community, they can also have. A homeowner association because like because it's the same kind of houses in that area so this right. association fees covers all the maintenance of of whatever is needed in this area correct okay so here in colombia we call that homeowner association fees we call that the administration <laughs> oh okay okay here in Ad colombia la administración yeah. 
La administración. Yeah. La administración. If, if you can use it in in Mexico, but I would I have I have never seen that word that we are being shown right now. Colonos, right. I've never seen that. So okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, like, I, 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 I wanted to know how, how this was called in the States. Like it's been a while since I wanted to know, but this sort of words just come up in conversations like this. Right. Like like it's very difficult to find these translations on a dictionary or on Google. It's just well, because it's very specific to the industry. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Yeah. So it, yeah. like the conversation must pop up <clears throat> in order to know the right concept. So I just yeah. I, it's like I, terminology for our business. Yeah. Right. So let's do okay. the next one. Contrato. Contrato. Okay, so there's no C in it. Contrato. No. Okay, corredor mm -hmm. is broker. Oh, corredor, corre, corridor, corredor. No, corredor. Uh, corredor is also like like how do you call that? Like a person who runs in marathons and stuff. <laughs> a oh, run. Will you call him a runner? Yeah. He is also a. Oh, okay. Yeah. Corredor. Well, it depends on the context, but yeah, it's the same translation. Okay, um, because correr is the uh, the run, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, costos de cierre, costos de cierre, closing costs. Uh, see, mm. this is cerrar. Yeah. Yeah. So we say to close when you finish the transaction and you're buying the house, it's called mm -hmm. the, the closing. So here mm -hmm. they're saying costos de cierre. Yes. Um, you don't think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. Criada. Made. Criada? Yeah. Made. But... It, Okay, it says Mexico colloquial muchacha. I don't know how that sounds in Mexico, but criada and sirvienta, that sounds like, in my opinion, yeah. that's like, I don't know how you would say that in English. Oh, it's uh, you, lo like, looking down on them. It's, it's disparaging. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's negative. So it's yeah. more, what would you say? I would what say... I would say la la chica la chica. Ayuda. What do they what do people say here? I forget. Um la la chica el servicio. The cleaning person. The person who cleans up. La la chica de servicio. De 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 los de oficios. I just don't remember the word that we use here, but this oh, is okay. what I remember right now. La chica okay. de oficios. Yeah, like this is like, hey, the chores girl or the, yeah, the house. Oh, chica de oficios. But it yeah. could be a guy. Could be a guy. Yeah, I mean, you could say el chico. Yeah, that that, that would be okay. Because saying yeah. sirvienta or criado, that sounds too offensive. I mean, I would never say that unless I, I actually want to make that person feel bad about his job. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> Cupola. Well, I've never seen that word in Spanish. <laughs> Cupola, domed ventilation. Oh, cu cu in English we say cupola. You cupola. do? Yeah. So it's like this thing on top of the dome. So there's a dome and there's a little thing on top and it allows the air to come inside the dome. Mm. We, we, it's an architectural feature. So probably okay. just using the English word. Yeah. Cu cubierta. Cubierta. Yeah. Deck? Deck. I mean, what is a deck? A deck is a place you go outside. Go outside? <clears throat> Not. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah, if you can send me a picture or something. Can you see my deck outside? Oh, let me see. Well, hold up. Oh, okay, that's a deck. Like some sort of a yard, but. It's, n it's like outside. outside. You you walk outside and then it's you look over. It's like a balcony. Okay, it's like a living room in a balcony. Yeah, <laughs> but it's outside. It's outside. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, so I, that's what I want to have, a deck. I, I yeah. didn't know what it was called, but I wanted that. I want that. <laughs> I'd love to have something like that with the, with the view of, of the city or something. Yeah, that, that would be great. Wait, how do I do it? There. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, oh. definitely what I would like to have. So Has it got a roof? No. You can see the mountains right there. That's, we call yeah. it Bear Peak right there. And then this is uh, like open space. There's a little pond, a little you're walking path right there. You're so lucky to live in a place like that in this quarantine. I know, because I can go walking right outside. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's huge. Like, and that's huge. Nobody. In. This is my garden down here, El Jardin. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. It looks great. I mean, I wish, yeah, I wish I would have had, I had that, the chance to be in a place like that in this quarantine. Like, I've got some friends, I've got, like, houses in the countryside, but, but I was, oh, I was, yeah. I was afraid not to get stable internet connection. So right, I didn't, you need I internet for sure. Yeah, I was like, I can't, I can't risk not having internet because I cannot stop working. So I was like, yeah, I had to stay. But hopefully next time, <laughs> next time around, I'll be prepared, more prepared, definitely. So the next one. Um, oh okay. well. So you know what? Like, I I would not understand deck as cubierta. I'm not sure in Mexico. You would have to to double check that with a Mexican person. But would you call I, it balcon? Balcon? Yeah, I would just call it like like a like a huge balcon. Or, yeah, like un gran balcón, like un balcón grande. O, yeah, o like balcón, balcón fuera, outside. Mm, that's like redundant in Spanish. Oh, okay. So, but, but something that would be, that, that, that might, might be good to say mm. is to be clear if it's got a roof or not. Like, hey, we've got a balcony or like it's got a balcony, a huge mm. balcony. Mm -hmm. And it's got a roof or mm -hmm. no, it hasn't got a roof because that's something important. For example, I want a deck, but I wanted to have a roof so I can actually, I can actually be there when it's raining and with right. some windows so right, I can, right. yeah, mm -hmm. and that I can be there whenever I want. Right, so. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, so cuenta. Cuenta, bill or invoice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like an invoice, uh, I would say cuenta de cobro. Cuenta or what? Cuenta de cobro. De cobro? Cuenta de cobro, yeah. Cobro. What does cobro mean? The, just like an invoice. Like, I would say cuenta de cobro if it's an invoice. Oh, okay. Uh, cuenta de cobro. Uh, that, that would be just cuenta. Okay. Yeah, like in a restaurant, you say cuenta. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> clave única del registro de población. Clave única del registro de población. Población. Oh, yeah. So, Social so. security number? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. <clears throat> we, we don't use that, but I understand mm -hmm. what you mean. I mean, that, that, that changes from country to country, so. So, este aquí, deslinde. Deslinde? Deslinde. Deslinde. That's a I, survey. Survey. What, what's ¿Cómo that? Se dice, ¿Cómo se dice un hombre que hace deslinda? El, like the guy who actually does it? Yeah. Deslindador. Mm. That's... Porque my, mi hijo es un, es un de este. Okay. My, my son is a surveyor. You know, I, I don't know. I, oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, that one. Okay. Deslinda. Like, yeah, I mean, like, that's, a, that's a word that we rarely use here in Colombia. I mean, like, I know what it means. <laughs> but, Excuse me. But, like. It's 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 stopped being used because there is nothing to deslindar anymore. <laughs> like deslindar. you understand what I mean? Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, like there is just no like it's already done. 
Pero, so I think pero, that's pero a... en comercial, uh, propiedad comercial, necesita deslinde. Yeah. And I, I, that, 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 I mean, here in Colombia, I think that is done by the lawyer itself. I think the mm. lawyer, I don't know if he, if they, if they hire someone like an architect or whatever, so they can put it into legal terms, but. It's usually when there's new construction. So they're scraping the land and they're building a new building and, you know, yeah. they're putting in a new gas station or a new store. And so they have to survey the land to make sure all the measurements are correct. You know. I think I think here in Colombia that is done by some some uh, engineer or something like that. Yeah, correct. It's an engineering yeah. job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. then like the lawyer actually puts it into legal terms and stuff. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drenaje. Drenaje. Drena. Sewer. Yeah. Sewer. Okay. <clears throat> Edificio building. You know, I, here in Colombia we call it alcantarillado. 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 Okay. Let me write that down. Alcantar. Alcantarillado. Rillado. Yeah. Okay. Alcantarillado. Okay. Edificio efectivo. Efectivo is cash. Yeah, it's also effective. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, efectivo. Uh, ejido. Ejido. Oh, ejido, common land. Uh, ejido es muy importante en México porque un ejido es una... Um, it's like a common farm that the government did many years ago. And so if you try to buy land that's part of the ejido, it's very, very difficult. So they say to try to stay away from these kind of real estate problems. So it's very specific to Mexico because it's like a government owned farm. They gave the land to the farmers during the revolution. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah, like it's not the it's not the government's, but but it was given by it and right, it's like, right. Like, so it's all it's all tied it. up. It's all tied up in a lot of legal uh, right. documentation uh, that goes back many years. So it's very difficult to buy this type of land. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, that's why it's important like, for like, like, like it's like it's like how do you call that? Like the heritage, like um. Like the, yeah. um, mm -hmm. like it's only for like like the sons and the sons and the sons like they can, they can have it and they can benefit from it. But but dealing with it like doing business with it is just not. Yeah, it's the, not like it, I can just sell it like I can sell my house and and move on because there's all this. The title is encumbered by all the history of it. Wow. So it's very complicated. So. They say yeah. in Mexico, you should never try to buy a hido. And if you're looking at a property to buy, you should check to make sure that it's not it's a not hido. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's an uh, important concept for me to understand so I can explain to los americanos que no, los yeah, that's weird. no like entiende. We got, yeah, like we haven't got that here in Colombia as far as I know. Right. Like never it's all part of the Mexican yeah. Revolution many years ago. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. Uh, escritura. Escritura yes. is the deed. Okay. That's the your title to the land. Uh, fe, fideicomiso. Okay. Fideicomiso is the type of land that you want to buy in Mexico because this is... Uh, it's a government trust, and you can buy it and you can own it, uh, but the government has a, what do you call it, like a restriction. So if, if, they, if the government ever needs the land for the defense of the country, they can take it back. <laughs> so 
you know, it's, it's never it's never happened, but they have it written into yeah. the title. Right. That, yeah. Know, someday, I mean, I, if there's a war and the United States attacks us, we can take your land. You know. <laughs> holy shit! So I mean, who would want to buy something like that? I mean, who wants to it's, buy? It's it? never happened. I mean, you know, they just have it as a protection. Yeah, so. but I mean, it's better. What's this? What's the saying goes? Like better safe than sorry. I mean. Yeah. Right. Like, and, like, and like, nowadays like, with with the Trump way Trump is against Mexico, you know, it could happen. You, you just don't know, right? And, and I mean, even if if that wasn't the case, there are just many things that you just don't fucking know. Like, for example, this pandemic thing. I mean, like, yeah, like who? I mean, no one thought about this shit. And uh, right. I mean, like the ones who are working like me, we just got lucky. Right. Just, right. Yeah. Lucky. Like the people who are working, we just got fucking lucky. But we right. we, we weren't planning this thing. We weren't preparing for this thing. It was nobody, like nobody, nobody yeah. knew. So and it went around so, the world. That's the weird part. Or completely, it's in every single country of the world. Right. So crazy. That's the thing. It's better better safe than sorry. I I prefer to live like that. My <laughs> life. I just I would take the fucking risk. But life I mean, is we, short. Life is short, Anderson. Come on, <laughs> let's go Why to Mexico. No, no, not that sure. Like, do you know what the life expectancy expect expectancy, right? Yeah. Is for for people my age, is mm. very long. Like, if we don't destroy the world before that, like, the our life expectancy is very long. Like, yeah, you'll be say, you'll live to a hundred. Yeah. So, and like in thirty years, in thirty years, we'll we'll start printing out organs. <laughs> yep. Yep. I yep. never yep. thought of that, but okay, yeah, right. I can see that. So, so you see, I mean, like, like if we're printing out printing out organs, you right. wouldn't worry about illnesses or shit that destroy your organs, cancer or something yeah. like that. Will be like a flu. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> can so, live forever. Well, not forever, but definitely Long very long. long. Yeah, right. very very long so so the next one okay um time is it 9 30 i have to go pretty soon uh because i'm going for a bike ride okay, finiquito finiquito. finiquito severance Sever pay. severance pay yeah that's like a like a like a clause because if they don't like like severance. The end of the bargain or something like, uh, severance pay is more related to a job. If you have a job and they fire you or they let you go and they say, um, okay, you've worked here for 10 years, so we're going to give you, you know, like $10,000 severance pay. So they're giving you like a gift to, to sever the relationship. Here's some money, go, you're done, you know. Okay, but I mean, like that's aside from the pension, like from yeah, different. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It's different, but I don't it's... know how it relates to real estate. It doesn't. I've never used that word in real estate. Finiquito. You never know. Like you know, that's one of the things that I realized about language. Like, like if there is a word that you like, if you just like it, learn yeah. it. Uh -oh, if you okay. like, it, learn it because you never know when you'll need it and. With language, you never know. You just never yeah. know. Like I already know many words, and I still run out of of, of some to say. You 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 know that. That sometimes I don't know how to say some things, especially right. because we're speaking about a field that I'm not very familiar with, not even in Spanish. Sure. Um, but yeah, let's do. Let's continue doing this uh, in our next sessions, and then okay. after we have finished the pronunciation and like the like the very clear definition of each one of these words, yeah. then. We we'll start doing some sentences which eat with each one of these words. So okay, I think okay. we got like, like good. three months of, of studying with this vocabulary. This is a great web page. Okay, good, good, so, good. Okay, I yo voy a manejar mi bicicleta. <laughs> nice. Uh, be, I'm going for a bike ride. Voy a voy a voy a montar. Voy a montar. Like I'm going to mount. Ah, voy a montar. Voy a montar. Bicicleta? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay, enjoy. Enjoy now that okay. you can because if we go out here without the, the 
the ID restriction. I mean, we get yeah. we get a, a a ticket, 300 USD ticket here in oh Colombia. Oh my god! Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. So I, every time there's police, like cops outside, and you're outside, you're like, shit, <laughs> you yeah. need to get into a place or something like that. It's like you feel like a fucking thief. It's so, uh, but that's right. terrible. All yeah. right, well, you have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay, so next week, same day, same times. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. my time, right? See. Sí. Okay, talk to you then. Have a great weekend. Okay, okay, okay you bye too. bye. Bye.